So we're looking at more salvage opportunities. We're looking at an abandoned homestead. There's a lot of concrete cylinders. These are all concrete test cylinders. These can be picked up. They weigh approximately 40 pounds a piece. I've gathered lots of these over the years. I have laid walls with them. I've built fortifications with them and I've used them for fill material for culverts. And here we got more of the concrete cylinders. Then over here we have a platform. Looks like an old dog house because there's parts of a dog pen here. The treated timbers on this are still in good shape. The plywood surface is rotten. So we can have actually salvage the timbers and or some of the fasteners, be they lag bolts, on this. So as we look around this old homestead, we got some anti-climb fence that's really rusted. This material I would not salvage, but some of this area has T-posts, which are salvageable. So you could come in here with a T-post puller and get these T-posts. A lot of this fencing was fastened to trees or cedar posts. Most of this is not any good. So when you are looking at stuff to salvage, just take a look at it and see what's good and what's not and go from there. So continuing our walk around the homestead, we see old coiled up barbed wire. We want to avoid that. That's a lockjaw hazard. We have the remnants of wood piles and then we have rock piles. Now you have to have something to move these rocks if you want them but rocks are one of the big things that you can salvage and use to build walls, buildings, fortifications. You can use them for fill material for culverts. You can use rocks to make a ford across a river or a creek if you don't want to bridge it. There's a lot of potential that people overlook. So please comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.